children have any had a strange dream before? Maybe you have dreamed that you are flying. Maybe you have dreamed that you're climbing the tallest tree. Maybe you've had a dream that's a little bit scary. Dreams are strange things sometimes, aren't they? We're going to be talking about a boy in our story who had lots of strange dreams. But we'll talk about that a little bit later. But first, I would love to give some hugs out. Who wants a hug today? Are you ready? One, two, three. And I'm going to have my hug too, reminding me Jesus loves me. So turn to the person next to you and give them a hug too. I think I'm ready to start some singing. Would you like to do some singing with me now? I think we should go and find Santa. Are you coming? Hi! Hey, did you notice Xander's special colourful coat? Lots of different rainbow colours, Xander. You're looking pretty special today. Yeah. And I've got a special one on too. Oh, I think we've got something about a coat in our story today, but we're going to talk about that a little bit later. But right now, we're ready to do our theme song with you. Are you ready to do it with us? with you and it's an action song so stand up and go in right out right upright down right happy all the time you ready to sing that with us i'm in right out right up could just use your hands too, couldn't you? I wonder what colour it's going to be today. Let's sing it together. God made the beautiful rainbow. I do all the colours today because there's something rainbow in our story today. I wonder how many things you can find in my sensory box now. Let's have a look. Boys and girls, this story is about a man named Joseph. 
and his father, his name was Jacob. Now Joseph had lots of brothers. Can you count them with me? Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven brothers. Joseph was one of the younger brothers. But 11 brothers to play with. Can you imagine what that would have been like? Joseph, because he was one of the younger brothers, he was very special to his father, Jacob. And one day, his father gave him something very special. He made a very special robe. Let's put in special writing. And this robe, oh, it was made of all beautiful rainbow colours. Can you see his beautiful coat, boys and girls? Oh, thank you so much, Father. He was so excited to go and show his brothers his beautiful coat. But what do you think they may have said? Oh, look, look at this beautiful coat this my father gave, our father gave us. Oh, you know, they were not happy. Do you know what the word jealous means? They got all very jealous. And the word jealous means that the Joseph brothers didn't like him because they thought his father liked him best because he received this special coat. And they started to say very unkind things to him. That was not very nice, was it? Well, one night, Joseph had a very strange dream. Now, let me tell you about this dream. Have you had a dream before, boys and girls? Well, in this dream, he was wanted to go and tell his brothers all about it. But in this dream, Joseph was in the middle. And there was a whole heap of grain in the field. And they were all tied up into bunches. And all these bunches were around Joseph. And then they did something very strange in his dream. All these bunches of wheat started to bow down to Joseph. Oh, what a strange dream. They all bowed down to him in this dream. And Joseph was telling all his brothers about his special dream. Oh, and his brothers looked at each other and they went, oh, they started to look very, very angry. And he just kept telling them about some other dreams that he had, that he dreamed about the moon and the stars as well. And all they bowed down to him as well. Wow, the brothers were getting very, very angry. Who do you think you are? They all said. Who do you think you are? Do you think you're better than all of us? The brothers did not like Joseph at all. Joseph was a little bit sad about that and he went home to his father. His father wanted to know how they were, the boys were going because they would tend to sheep. And so he asked Joseph, Joseph, Will you go and see how all your brothers are doing? Take them some food and report back to me how they are going. And so Joseph went out to find them. And he went looking and here they were. They were all out there talking amongst themselves. And they saw Joseph coming and they were talking to themselves. Oh, look, here that Joseph comes again. I think we should kill him. It's not fair. Father likes him better than all of us. I can't believe he's even coming out here to talk to us. And so that wasn't very nice, was it, boys and girls? Reuben was one of the older brothers. And he said, no, no, let's not kill him. Let's throw him into a deep well. Because you see, Reuben didn't want to hurt Joseph. He knew that Jacob, his father, loved him very much. And he wanted to come back and and rescue Joseph afterwards. And so that's what the brothers did when Joseph arrived. They took off his special coat. Oh, doesn't that mean they threw it on the ground and they put Joseph in to a big well. Oh, in he goes. Poor Joseph. Wasn't that a very mean thing to do? His own brothers threw him into the well. That'll teach him a lesson, they said. And then they took the beautiful robe and they tore it up and they even put some animal blood on it as well because they wanted the father to think that Joseph had died. Isn't that awful? 
And so they show the father the beautiful robe. And the father, he was so sad. And he cried and he cried, thinking that he had lost his special son. While Joseph was in the well, some merchants from Egypt came. And the brothers said, oh, but we've got an idea. Why don't we sell Joseph to these Egyptian traders and he can go with them? And so that's what they did. They took Joseph out of the well and they sold them to these merchants who were on their way to Egypt. <gasps> can you believe that they, his own brothers would do that? And so he went off with the merchants to become a slave. Now he was a slave to a very important person in Egypt and his name was Potiphar. Here's Potiphar here. Now Potiphar, he was very impressed with Joseph. Joseph always seemed to know what he was doing and he was very quick at all the things that he did in the household and he was just very impressed with everything that he did. And so he was always asking him for advice for things and doing things around his home. But there was a problem. The problem came when Potiphar's wife had told a lie about Joseph. And so Potiphar had to put Joseph in jail. Oh, Joseph had to go into jail. Poor Joseph. Do you know, boys and girls, God was still with Joseph in jail because the warden of the jail put Joseph in charge of all the prisoners and there was even two men that Joseph was able to tell what the meaning of their dreams were through God's help. Now, because Joseph knew God very well and he loved him, Pharaoh had heard that Joseph could interpret dreams. Who is this Joseph I've heard about? I've had some strange dreams. I need to see him. And so he asked that Joseph came out of prison and he said, can you understand dreams? I can't, but God helps me. Pharaoh told him all about his dream. Very strange dream of things being eaten up and things growing. And of course, Joseph asked God for help and he was able to tell Pharaoh what his dream meant. And in his dream, there was going to be a very big famine for seven years. But there was also going to be a seven years of plenty, which means there'll be lots of grain. And so Pharaoh believed everything that Joseph had said and put him in charge of all of Egypt. And he would be in charge of putting all the grain and making sure there was enough grain for the years of famine that were going to come. And so what do you think happened then, boys and girls? When the famine came, people from all over came to Joseph to ask for grain because there was no food in the land and he had the grain there and he would give it out to the people that would come from all over the place. Now who do you think else might have come to buy grain from Joseph because the whole world was in need of food at that time? Oh, yes, his brothers. His brothers, Jacob had sent his brothers to Egypt to go and collect some grain because there was no food to eat. And so here they went. And do you know what, boys and girls? They did not recognize Joseph. Joseph was in charge of all the grain and a lot of Egypt. And the brothers came to ask for the grain, but they did not recognize him at all. And do you know what they did when they saw him? They all bowed down because we 
he was a very, very important person. Now, can you remember the dream that Joseph had of all the grain bowing down to him? It's just like he dreamed would happen. Here they were bowing down to him. And after a few meetings, because they came quite a few times, and each time they still did not know that it was Joseph, Joseph finally said to them, Come here. I am your brother, the one you sold. Do not worry and do not be angry at yourselves for selling me because God has put me here to save people from starving. He had a plan. I forgive you. So his father, his brothers and the family all came to live in Egypt with Joseph. Boys and girls, the story of Joseph is an example to us about how God works in our life. Sometimes we have things that happen to us that hurt, that make us feel bad. And like Joseph, even though something happened to him that was very wrong, God made something good out of it and honoured him, didn't he? He even became second in charge over all of Egypt. And even though his brothers were mean to him, he forgave them. Kids, we can overcome anything through trusting in God because he wants to help us. Did you know he has a special plan for you too? I wonder whether you might have guessed already what craft we're going to do today after hearing that story. Let me show you what I've got today to make our special picture. So I have a nice big piece of paper to put our picture on. And then here I've got some masking tape. I also have some paper towel. Now you might have seen this in your kitchen, so hopefully that'll be easy to find. Let's see what other things we have in our box today. Let's see. Oh, we've got some colored wool and some string as well. Oh, that looks like fun, doesn't it? Oh, and there's also some ribbon. Ribbon, string and wool, all different colours. So you can do any colours, whatever you've got in your cupboard is fine. Now I'm also going to have a glue stick this time and then I'm going to have my PVA glue just as a backup in case I need that too. We've also got a piece of white card and not to forget our pretty glitter in lots of pretty colours. And I've got some Google eyes that I'm going to use. A marker for my special message now this is is a water dropper so I'm going to put this into my water here that I've got ready and then I'm going to suck up the water and then use it on my picture it sounds a bit interesting does it if you haven't got one of these you can just use a spray bottle where you fill up and just spray it on the picture so we'll use that instead if that's what you've got at home completely fine now I am going to use lots of colored paint so I've got some lots of pretty colors in here can you see that I'm going to need some paint for my picture too so I think that's everything Oh, am I missing something? I think I am. Have I got some? I have got some of those. We need a glitter heart too, don't we? Let me get one of those out ready. Here we go, our glitter heart. There's lots of rainbow colours here, isn't there? I am ready to do my picture. Are you ready to do yours too? A colourful creation, yes, that's me. God's family. I'm bright and sparkly, a little messy too. But Jesus loves me and he loves you. Jesus loves me with all his eyes. He's making me brand new 
Jesus loves me and he loves you. Jesus loves me with all his art, fills me with a happy, happy heart. He's making me a masterpiece. I trust in Jesus. He loves me. Jesus loves me. show you how my picture turned out can you see it's still a little bit wet but what happened when I put the water on there all the colors started running in together to make this beautiful rainbow coat I know you're gonna have a lot of fun doing that and remember I said you could use a spray bottle too so that will work just the same just be careful not to spray your brother or sister can you see the message on the top what does it say it says God has a plan for me and he really does I want you to use lots of rainbow colors on your picture. I can't wait to see what yours looks like. And remember the special message that God really does have a plan for you. We've had such an awesome time together, haven't we? Listening to that amazing Joseph story and making a beautiful craft. And now is a beautiful time for us to pray together. God loves it when we talk to him anytime, anywhere. Remember we learned that last week, didn't we? Would you like to pray with me now? Great, let's fold our hands and close our eyes. Dear Jesus, we thank you for the story of Joseph that we learned today, that even though sometimes things happen to us, you have a special plan for us and that we can trust in you, that you will help us and guide us and help us to follow that special plan. Thank you that you love us, Jesus. In your name we pray, amen. It's our sharing time, kids, and we love seeing all of your masterpieces that you've been making. I can see that you've been having a lot of fun. We loved all your little boats and your fishes and your drawings of the fire, and some of you even add some shells. Awesome. So we're going to show them in just a minute. So after you have made your artwork from today's story, ask mum or dad to take a photo of it and you can send it into us at Happy Hearts Facebook page. And if you don't want your face in the photo, that's okay. You can just send in a picture of your artwork because we love featuring them on our show. So remember the story today where we learned that God has a plan for you. Don't forget that, kids. It's so important to remember. But there's also something very special I want you to remember each week too. And that is that you are God's masterpiece. See you next week. And he loves you. Jesus loves me. Jesus, he loves me.